Welcome to the course. I am so excited to be able to share everything I know about Tableau with you today. I'm going to start with who I am. So my name is Jed Guinto. I have been a Udemy trainer now since 2014. I have almost 200,000 students, almost half a million individual enrollments with which six years ago, I couldn't even believe that that's even possible. So I love teaching. I love doing this stuff. When it comes to being an analyst, I've been an analyst now for over five years. I am a senior analyst, so I take a lot of data. I do a lot of cleaning and processing and sharing and working with stakeholders and senior management and businesses and doing all that stuff, and I love it. And that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. So let's start with the first question, which is what has brought you to this course. Now, generally speaking, the reasons people take my course, the reasons people take a lot of these kinds of courses is either they've lost their job or they're not happy in their current job and they're looking for a new one, or they want to get into analytics and data and, and all that, don't quite, quite know how to start, or they want to get into the space, but they don't have the necessary skills to apply for the jobs. Or my favorite, they've been using Excel for like three or four decades and they're like maybe it's time to upgrade right to something better well this is exactly what i'm going to be uh solving in this course in regards to job jobs there is no shortage of jobs so here is a quick search on linkedin jobs let's close that up and here is just a search on the united states when it comes to analyst roles. There are 72,000 results. So there's no shortage of jobs. I actually started my career as an aerospace engineer. I spent about 10 years studying and working and spending my whole life doing aerospace engineering. There are no jobs in a lot of the places forcing me to get into analytics, which turns out it's something I really love. And I didn't have the problem of being no jobs in the industry. Looking at an, another kind of country, Let's have a look at India. There are 26,000 roles for data analysts. Let's look at Canada, 7,000, maybe United Kingdom. There we go, 13,000. Let's look at China maybe, 29,000. There are thousands and there are thousands of new ones every single day. Talking about salaries, well, here in Australia, looking at payscale.com, you can convert this to US dollars or kind of where you're from. Generally speaking, I hear this is around the same in most areas. $71,000 a year, plus you get like, you know, some bonuses and perks and all that kind of stuff. But let's say 71, 72,000 uh, base salary per year. Sounds about right when I started. Looking at a business analyst, so it's slightly higher. You're looking at about 82,000, which is the median. And then if you get really, really good and you start getting into really deep analytics and all that, we're talking now, you know, data scientists kind of salary. With these pay levels, though, I, sh I will say this is how much you get when you start. So when you have very basic Tableau skills or Power BI skills or even kind of intermediate to advanced Excel skills, this is probably how much you make. After a few years, and especially learning tools like Tableau, you know, if you're an expert in Tableau or Oracle or Ultrix and all this kind of stuff, easily over 100K. I'm over 100K now that I've learned a lot of these tools over the last few years. If you get really good and you're several years in the industry and where you work, $150,000 a year is kind of normal for about that range. Now, if you get really good, we're talking, you know, five to 10 years kind of down the line, 200K probably. Right. So there's heaps of money in the in this industry. It's grown significantly over the last decade. And it makes sense because the Internet got better. We're collecting way more data. We've got social media. There's so much information, not enough analysts to actually clean it, prepare it and, you know, get some insight out of it to make business decisions. All that being said. In order to apply for these for these particular jobs, you need to have a certain set of skills. All right, so being an analyst, you need to be able to clean data, prepare it, distribute it. You need to be able to take data from scratch and find insight. You're, you're going to need to be able to visualize uh, data sets and you're going to need to communicate what you find. And lastly, and probably one of the most important is you need to be able to manage your stakeholders during this entire process. You see, in this course, I'm not just going to teach you, here's a line chart, here's a bar chart. You know, here's a map, you know, 
every other course does that. You can take any other course. What this course aims to do is to teach you how to use that technology, right, Tableau, and apply it in a corporate environment so that you succeed, right? How do you apply it to real world, world problems where the data isn't always clean, right? How do you deal with that? The data is not always available. It could come from multiple places, could come from multiple sources. You can have an access database and a text file and then a Salesforce link and then SAP and maybe HubSpot, you know, and then another system that you're connected to. And then, you know, how do you bring all of that together? That's what I'm going to teach you in this course. So if you are excited and that's what you want to learn, well, let's get into it. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn the entire Tableau platform, consider enrolling into my course. It's one of the highest ranking courses on Udemy and enrolling today, you'll be joining the almost 200,000 students that have enjoyed my courses over the years. Thanks again for watching and hope to see you in the course.